When Prince Sam killed me, I lost a permanent heart. But earlier that day, when I killed Pentar, I stole his heart. Evening out my total heart count to 10. And on a server like Lifesteal, the only thing that matters is yourself. So I'll be making my way to the server's cap of 20 hearts. And I'll do whatever it takes. Betraying my allies, uh, blackmailing hackers, and building devices that can one-tap any player. Huh? But before we can get to the instant kill death machine, the story actually begins with parkour. You see, a player named Jumper who invited me to do some parkour for a, a video. So I said, sure, hoping that I'd be able to get a heart out of it. But I immediately regretted my decision once I joined their VC. <laughs> He's about to get jumped. Hello, no, Wimbo. you're not getting jumped. <laughs> Hello. I promise. We're not trying to kill you. Okay. That's not suspicious at all. Jumper had created three different levels of parkour. Easy, medium, and hard. And to start, she bet me 10 diamonds that she could beat me at the easy parkour course. Now, I didn't actually expect to win. I'm terrible at parkour. But to my surprise, I won and she gave me the diamonds. Was she just manipulating me? Lulling me into a false sense of security so she could trap me later? Well, I already kind of committed to this parkour course, so there's no turning back now. Okay. Here you go. Wait. Oh. I already forgot how to do this. <laughs> Wait. Uh, you finished? I, I think I have lost. Okay, this is right. the hard one. I did say it's a little bit uh, different. different. So is this the part where, where I like get exploded? You're not, okay, I can I press the button? Not die. Yeah, you can press it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's a triple Neo chain. Okay. Oh, this is so, so free. I totally know how to do these. Uh, I do not know how to do these. I am bluffing. But I want to do. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I don't even know if I can do this. I just, I just thought, what is the one of the hardest jumps in Minecraft? If you're somehow able to do it and I'm not, I will give you a heart, okay? But if I'm able to do it and you don't, would you be willing to give me a heart? Now, there's pretty much nothing for me to gain here. I have a 0% chance of completing this jump, but I am surrounded by two players in full PvP gear and I have nothing in my inventory right now. So I kind of don't have a choice. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try. All right. I'm gonna do it. Watch Good this luck. first try, easy. I believe. Okay. I don't Lock know. In. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Uh, you're gonna, you're okay. gonna like do it first try, and I'm just gonna cry. Bro, if she. Uh, I, th I, I was trying. I only was able to do it like <laughs> once, I think. So. Please don't take my heart. Oh my! Oh my I got it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Close the heart. So I had to give her a heart, putting my total down to nine. But her betting a heart didn't make any sense. And I literally didn't believe that she did this legitimately. I watched back the recording and replay mod for 15 minutes straight. There's no way she would set this up without having a... Okay. What? The jump was definitely a little suspicious, but without any concrete evidence, I couldn't do anything. So I knew that I needed to figure out a method to reach 20 hearts as fast as possible, which is when I found it, a redstone railgun. You see, this machine designed by JVST White Void to kill a player with full protection for netherite armor and an unbreaking three shield instantly. And if you stack multiple players in a line, it can kill them all at once. Meaning I could get to 20 hearts in a single shot of the cannon. But right before I was about to go gather materials for it, I came to a realization. I would need an accomplice, since I would have to be firing the cannon. But I don't have any friends. Uh, on the server. So when Pentar asked me to help him with an end part core, I accepted. Not only to try and make an ally, but also because Pentar is friends with Jumper, meaning that he might have information on how Jumper was able to complete the triple Neo chain. And that's how I ended up above the void with no gear. He wanted to test his blindfolded end part core. And if any moment he gave me a wrong instruction or decided that he wanted me dead, I could literally do nothing. But to my surprise, when I opened my eyes, I was at the end of the parkour, having been successfully guided through the entire thing. Did this mean he forgave me for killing him? I wasn't sure, but he said this about jumper she does play a lot of parkour yeah okay that that makes that makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> it's it's in, in it's in her name <laughs> jumper oh that makes sense was she really just good at parkour and i was looking into it too much i wasn't sure but speculating wouldn't help me get more hearts so i decided to try and scam a player named prince sam since he had taken a heart from me in the past i asked him for a set of gear and he pitied me because i was a new player but after he gave me the gear i uh well, okay, well, <laughs> no, if I'm actually gonna do this, I should probably do this now, actually. No, what? No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm dead. Okay, so I'm gonna die in, like, one hit. So, like, I'm gonna die in oh. one hit. Oh, okay. wow, that was... Okay, so I'm dead. Okay, I really thought you would put up a better fight than that. No, I have leather armor. What? It looks <laughs> like armor. it looks like diamonds. Turns out he was uh, he was wearing leather armor. I had gained a heart though. And after I killed him, we got to talking. You see, unrelated to all of this, my friend Parrot had asked me for another player Minitech's full name. Now, <laughs> I'm not gonna talk to him. So I decided to ask Zam if he knew about it. Dude, have you heard about that the Parrot stuff? How he's just asking people for... Have you been asked for Minitech's address? He is trying to dox Minitech right now. Oh. 
Is yeah. that one of the rules that he's trying to break for his video? Oh, he's making a rule breaking video? Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Dude, he's like I spoke. He's trying to break the doxing rule. Yeah, it's really Yeah, fun. I also think he's trying to break the doxing rule. This made a lot more sense since Parrot isn't really the kind of guy to just want people's addresses. But this also gave me an idea. If I wanted to, I could blackmail Parrot for hearts, threatening to tell the owner if he didn't pay me. I mean, I have a history of hacking and breaking rules myself, so I really don't care, but this could be a potential opportunity to get a bunch of hearts, especially considering that I still don't have someone to use the cannon with. While I was thinking about this though, Pentar messaged me again. He told me he another parkour he wanted me to test and if i successfully completed it he could give me more information about jumper who's parkour hinting that she might have used a glitch but if i could just figure out how jumper did the triple neo chain i could possibly beat her at her own game and win my heart back so i accepted since i lived the first time but something about this course was odd it was built in the middle of nowhere and had no clear gimmick like the end one was pentar trying to trap me i needed the information from him though so i decided to try my luck jumper's video i mean i know what jumper's video is before i even joined the server because i I have to like figure out the glitch that she was using. Wait, what? What, gli what glitch that was she using? <laughs> I can't say. No, no, no. This has turned into an actual interrogation. Like I'm going to kill you if you don't tell me. You're go you're going to kill me. <laughs> yeah, honestly, didn't really think that one through. You're going. I forgot you're like actually good. I am yeah, doing I'm hardcore. I am for this Again. one. You have to you have to crouch when you're. Oh, so you said one, crouch? You crouch. Oh, wowzers. Yeah, then, you're going to need momentum for this. Oh, what the? Bro, you're so annoying, man. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm you're sorry. You're so weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And at that moment, I decided I would do whatever it takes to get to 20 hearts, no matter what. And after being humiliated at <laughs> Yo, spawn. Wait, where did that? Well, how, like, how did you die? Like, when, what just happened, bro? How'd you I die? decided that I would also need to get revenge on everyone on the server who had wronged me. So, my scheme to get more hearts was put into motion. I gave Pofa $30 for a heart. I went around asking more people on the server if they'd be willing to sell me hearts, but unfortunately, they were asking for thousands of dollars, so uh, sub subscribe if you want to see me do that, but it was looking like my only option at the moment was to blackmail Parrot into getting more hearts, since I still didn't have an accomplice for the cannon. But first, I would need to manipulate him into giving me evidence, because right now, I only had the word of Prince Zam. So, I asked him to join a VC, ready to try to manipulate him, but he didn't respond. Had Parrot somehow figured me out? Well, no, there was actually an event going on at the server when I messaged him. A between Parrot and another player named Ash Swag. I'll be honest, I, I have I don't know what's really going on there. What I do know is that there's going to be a group of completely defenseless players. And if I know anything about lifesteal, the wedding is gonna completely break out into chaos. So hoping for an opportunity to assassinate someone without anyone noticing, I attended. What? How, why are there so many people here? Oh, Parrot's here, 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 Oh, oh no! Oh no! He just ran away! After Parrot came back, the ceremony began. Except Pangi asked for everyone to take off their armor, which would give me an opportunity to kill people. Except I would also have to take off my armor, leaving me wide open to losing a heart. So I decided to start drowning myself in the corner to distract from the fact that I was wearing armor. <clears throat> Yo, what is up, my slimes? Welcome to the first official lifesteal wedding. Although, as the event went on, some players noticed that I was drowning myself and were pretty suspicious about it. Now, it is time for the ring exchange. When you look at these rings on your hands, Yo, be reminded of this moment. On, what? I had to take off my armor, leaving me completely open to if someone wanted to assassinate me. So I quickly readied my armor in my hotbar and waited. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Let's go! Oh my gosh! I'm out of here, man! I'm out of here! And after assassinating Leo, I, I kind of just walked away and, and no one noticed. So the plan was successful and I reached 11 hearts. Finally, actually made making progress. And since the wedding was over, Parrot was now free to call. So hoping that I can manipulate one of Lifesteal's most clever players, I nervously joined VC so, with him. I just have a quick question. Sure. Uh, yeah. Does Spoke know about your, like, little rule-breaking quest? He knows, but he doesn't know the extent of how much I'm gonna take it to. I see. Do you think- like, Yeah? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Oh, what were you gonna say? No, I was gonna say like, cause like I was hacking the other day, and like, he kept like logging on the server, cause he was probably getting spammed in console. Now I just turned it off. <laughs> what? Bro, what the heck? 
What? Bro, I now had an admission of guilt from Para. So all that was left to do was to blackmail him. So you wouldn't mind if I like told him the full extent or would you, you, you wouldn't want me to do that, right? Yeah, yeah. Wait, why? Uh, well, I think we're gonna engage in a bit of an act called a blackmailing parrot here. And I've been recording this entire time, so I do have your, uh, confession. No! <laughs> no, you're actually such an op, bro. Oh my gosh, dude. You are such- I am gonna leak everything you're doing to Spoke unless you give me your chest plate. Now you're probably wondering why I'm asking for a chest plate instead of hearts. Well, this chest plate is special since at the end of the week, whoever has this chest plate is owed three hearts from a team called the Gucci Gang. If the Gucci Gang doesn't have all of their chest plates by the end of the week, they have to disband. So if I threaten and pair it with his chest plate instead of just hearts, he'll be much more cooperative. Parrot then agreed to come to spawn to give me the chest plate, but something wasn't adding up. He was taking a long time, even though the wedding just happened at a building less than 100 blocks away from spawn. When questioned, he said he was thousands of blocks away in the nether, but this still didn't make much sense. So I asked him to screen share. Can you hit F3 for me? I can't do that actually. Well, why not? What do you mean? Why can't you hit F3? Because it's gonna toggle something. <laughs> I already have you recorded saying that you were hacking, bro. Yeah, but I can't give you more proof, bro. Okay, okay. I can't give you more proof. <laughs> I don't think F3 toggles any client, bro. Now, aside from Parrot not wanting to show his coordinates, this does actually look like a normal screen share at first. If you look closely, you'll notice a glaring inconsistency. When Parrot stops streaming, he's still moving in game, which doesn't make sense since in order to end a Discord screen share, you need to tab out. Was Parrot faking his screen share or was Discord just lagging? By the time Parrot arrived at spawn, I wasn't sure. Hello, Mr. Bird. Really? I'm gonna need that chest plate off of you. One. Have a good one, Mr. X2. <laughs> He's so sad, dude. Either I, just, either I just made the play of the century or I just got completely scammed. And both are equal possibilities. No! No, you're actually <laughs> such an op. I get a screen share just to make sure that you're, that you're not lying to me here. I mean... Okay, I am on my way back. I'm getting close. Excellent. Have a good one, Mr. X2. <laughs> Dude, this guy is so dumb. I'm actually praying he doesn't figure out. I am praying he doesn't find out. And that was it. Parrot had outsmarted me. Until I checked Discord, you see a player named Minitech also had acquired one of these chest plates from another one of Parrot's teammates. And when I saw his screenshot, I noticed that my chest plate didn't match up with his. So I called Parrot back. Oh. Yo. You're such a rat, bro. Come here with the real one. I don't have. Okay. You know what actually sucks? What? I don't have the real one, bro. What do you mean? Harry claimed that he lost the chest plate to a player named Pang. But how did I know he wasn't just stashing it somewhere else or just scamming me again? I needed to play my cards right if I wanted to exploit him for hearts. You just tried scamming me. You're such a <laughs> rat, bro. Uh, do you have a recording, like, actually? Do you have a recording of him scamming you? If you give me three hearts, that's basically what I wanted the chest plate for. And what good are hearts when you're banned? Interesting. Okay, how about this? I like this deal, but I need another part of this. Uh, yeah. I need a, I need another bit out of this deal. I know what you. So I'll give you I, three hearts. I'll give you what you, if. I know. I know what you're gonna okay. ask. Okay. But. Okay. I'm gonna. I'd be willing to do that for for four hearts. Uh, I'm going to need to log out safely with these four hearts though before yeah. I give also, you the info. Um... Oh, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Parrot had scammed me again. Well, not really. I profited four hearts instead of the three hearts I would have gained if I got the chest plate. And I could still just tell Spoke about Parrot for revenge. With everything being said, I profited here, except Maypick started following me. I tried to lose him, but him and Prince Zam were now on me, and it was looking like I would lose these hearts as soon as I had gotten them. Although, I managed to log off without them finding my spawn point. And then, I snitched on Parrot. In the meantime, he, he tried fabricating a, a video of me fly hacking. Uh, here, here's the video. Bro? What? What? I... I swear to God I just saw Wenbu hacking. 
On Life Seal? Yes, bro. What? I think so. <laughs> Dude, this kid is hacking. Actually, like on Life Seal, he's, he's hacking, hacking on Life Seal. I was, bro. I'm not even shocked. That's the saddest part. Dude. I'm actually not even shocked. I'm not even shocked, dude. dude bro, get out of there before he kills you. Actually, get out before he kills you, bro. Okay, yeah, I probably should. So, uh, yeah, uh, Spoke really did not believe it. <laughs> and he banned Parrot from the server. And for a moment, I felt bad, but I was on 15 hearts now, more than most players on the server. But to get the last five hearts, I would need to use the railgun. And I was still stumped on who I should have as an accomplice. I mean, no one in the server both trusts me. Actually, no one on the server trusts me. That, that's basically it. Except for one new player who just joined the server. Squiddo, um, yes. I have found a a trap, if you will, that this thing, that uh, it's it's a bit powerful. Huh? <laughs> what the crap happened? <laughs> and the best part is that you get kill credit for it, so you actually steal hearts. So we agreed to split the hearts 50-50, meaning that we would have to kill 10 players if I wanted to get to 20 hearts. Or, or, or I could just not pay her. Regardless though, we made a hit list of people we wanted to kill, and it ended up kind of turning into the entire server. And after escaping the nether because I thought Mapex spawn trapped me, I met up with Squiddo on the actual server. She was gonna make a birthday party to convince everyone to line up for cake, where then 150 blocks away, I was gonna hide the railgun in a mountain. Now, Squiddo's actual birthday was six months months ago, but no one knows that. So I began to gather materials for the railgun, but I quickly ran into a problem. Dispensers. I mean, the, each dispenser needs a bow, which needs string. And, and I don't have a spider farm. I don't know where spiders are. So I started by trading out with villagers and I noticed that the base I was trading with villagers in had a lot of slime blocks and iron and just useful redstone components kind of lying around. So uh, I'm sorry, Leo. Wook. And after trading with villagers for bows, I realized this was a terrible idea. So I robbed someone for a bunch of string, but then I realized that the cannon needs tons of TNT. So now I had to gather resources for the creeper farm and then i couldn't find an ocean for the life of me we scouted out everywhere we did, we're just building it here i don't care and finally after all of that we had a working creeper farm and then the creeper farm broke so then i had to fix the creeper farm i don't even know what i did to fix it i just afk in a different spot i don't like grinding in minecraft okay and after all of that i was finally able to start building the cannon until I got added to a mysterious group chat titled Apology. And after quickly scrolling through the member list, I realized it was everyone affected by Parrot's rule breaking. At this point, his ban had almost expired since it had taken me so long to build the creeper farm. But it looked like instead of holding a grudge, he was apologizing. Was he just trying to manipulate me to get revenge later? I wouldn't find out until he actually apologized. But for now, I finished up the cannon and Squiddo and I decided that we would have to test it to make sure it would actually work on the server. Okay, this should be good. My game is lagging a lot. Uh, okay, hit me, hit me. They're going. It's going. Why didn't it work? They, they, they hit me. Um. Wait, what? This was really bad. We had less than 48 hours to debug a redstone machine that neither of us understood. After watching back the cannon firing and replay mod a bunch, we initially thought that the TNT was lagging, making it so the arrows wouldn't fire when they were supposed to. But, but then after double checking everything, I, I realized that I set a repeater to the wrong timing. So we decided to give it another test fire. Okay, I'm gonna give it like 100 more arrows just cause, just in case. All right, I'm, I'm gonna give it a try, I'm gonna give it a try. All right, it's going. Get over here, get over here. Get Wait, I hard. see it. It like completely. <laughs> Holy crap. This is actually a, a weapon. Of... Dude, you don't even have to line them up. The test was a massive success and we were about to do the real thing. But first I got a call from Parrot and he gathered everyone together and apologized. Even though I was the one who blackmailed him for his hearts. Was I wrong about hearts being the only thing that mattered on Lifesteal? Should I really go through with this weapon of mass destruction? Yeah, of course I should. What, what kind of question is that? And so as people started showing up to Squiddo's birthday celebration, I nervously awaited the signal to fire the cannon. Oh, hey guys. Okay. Wait, oh, wait, wait, oh, oh wait, my wait, 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 <laughs> Per person. Now to make sure that everybody gets one cake and there's no stealing, I have made a cake lining up area. It says cake collection. If you could make oh a line God. and I'll give you all one cake each, then I'm, I'm yeah. a single file line. Get...
Oh, what a great line we made here. Oh, why do you uh, look like- Wait, wait, turn back around, turn back around. Why do you look like that? Why do you uh, look like- Wait, wait, turn back around, turn back around. Why do you look like that? What? Why do, what do I look like, like what? <laughs> Oh, okay, what? so oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, we just died. Oh, Wait, what the oh, 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 You idiots! You idiots! Oh, 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 you oh, 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 I am on 20 hearts. I had finally reached 20 hearts. But in return, I was now enemies with basically every single team on the server. So when I met up with Squiddo, I ended up paying her her share of the hearts because I found something. Something that could literally change the entire course of the server. And I would need people to help me. So if you want to know when that happens, uh, subscribe. And if you want more context on why I even began this quest in the first place and why Prince Sam even killed me at the start of this video, watch the video on screen. It's similar to this one, so you'll probably like it. Uh, okay, bye.